there, my purple banditos. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Elite Four Bertha. In today's episode, we're going to make our way up the third elevator and see who's awaiting us on the other side. So here we go. There's Fire Type. And I remember this guy. This guy's Flint, who was friends with Little Volkner. Little Volkner. Okay, so let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon very quickly. So now that the team's all healed up, let's go ahead and talk to Flint. Yo, trainer, you had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Seems like he's chuckling. You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how your spirit burns. So here we go, Rodri versus Elite Four Flint, the third member of the Elite Four. Let's go ahead and do this. You were challenged by Elite Four Flint. Ha 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 ha. Seems like he's laughing. He's gonna send out a Houndoom. I am gonna open up with Nami. I'm a little afraid of this Houndoom because from the tips you guys gave me, you told me that it has bite ready to go. It has that Thunder Fang ready to go, and that could be very, very harmful. Hopefully I can KO it here in one turn, as it is a fire type, and then we can move on and keep KOing the crap out of Flint's Pokemon. So here we go, Houndoom, it did half. The Sunlight is strong, which means fire type moves are now super powered. It's going to go for a Dark Pulse. I don't think that's going to do that much damage on me, and if we successfully land the next Surf, we should be able to easily KO this Houndoom. Um, it's looking right now like we're going to KO his first Pokemon quite easily. Let's go ahead and we've Dug it down! Yes! Houndoom is gone! Woo! That was probably going to be the toughest one for me. The only one I know from you guys telling me to watch out for that Thunder Fang. So here we go. The sunlight is strong. The sunlight is strong with this one. It's going to send out an Infernape. Wow, this thing has an Infernape. I'm going to switch out Pokemon, and I'm going to send out Linz. I want Linz to handle the Infernape. I don't want my Nami to take that much damage. And I think Linz will be able to handle this quite nicely. Linz has Earthquake, and we need to get Linz going. We need to get Linz pumped up, because Linz is a part of our team as well, and Linz is going to be able to step it up. Linz is going to go for an Earthquake. That should do quite a bit of damage on this Infernape, and it should nicely, nicely, nicely KO this thing and get it out of here, and let us keep proceeding on to the next of Flint's Pokemon. And KO'd! So that's two in a row we have KO'd. KO'd, that was quite nice. That was actually very, very nice. We did a great job on that one, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. And the Sunlight is strong once again too bad we don't have any fire type moves except for our jerry it's gonna send out a flareon let's keep Linz out let's keep Linz out for a little bit i'm pretty sure Linz will be able to handle a little flareon i mean look it's only a little 55 flareon oh look how cute it is with its little bunny ears ah oh, little flareon not gonna be able to do much damage on us i went for another another earthquake that should be quite effective and we should be able to ko this thing too <laughs> yes KO'd! Man, Linz is going on a little sweep here. Linz is ready to go. Linz is super pumped and uh, switching it up and going crazy over here. So the sunlight is strong once again. Let's see who's going to send out next. It's going to send out a Magmortar. We're going to keep out Linz because Linz is doing a fantastic job right now. I'm really excited with what Linz has going on. So let's go ahead and keep another Earthquake going. Hopefully we won't need Earthquakes later on. And if we do, we always have our speed ready to go, ready to show it, ready to get some action pumping. So Magmortar is level 57. I'm guessing this is going to be its strongest Pokemon. And we have KO'd its strongest Pokemon. That should be it for Flint. That was quite easy, Flint. I thought you were actually going to put up a fight, bro. Come on, Flint. Time to step it up, man. It's going to go for a Rapidash. Its last and final Pokemon. Pokemon. Flint's last and final Pokemon is going to be this little Rapidash right here, and we should be able to KO it quite nicely. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering, as well as this Earthquake. This Earthquake has overpowered all of your Pokemon and allowed me to KO like half your team, dude. So here we go. We're going to use the Earthquake on Rapidash, and this has been a quite easy fight. Probably the easiest one yet. Rapidash is KO'd, and that is it for Flint's last Pokemon. So there we go. Linz gained 1,089 XP. Jerry gained 1,090 XP. We defeated a Elite for Flint. Ugh. I don't believe it. I lost. I didn't take you for granted. But I didn't expect you to win. I never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon. We got 6,840 for winning. Fantastic. Woo! Burnt right down to Cinders. Guess that was it. That was quite easy. We will catch you later, Flint. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue on the fourth elevator and face off against the fourth Elite Four member. Three down, one more to go. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.